Hello YouTube, Devin here again, and uh, today I have a vest video for you. And uh, this is on, uh, if you couldn't tell by the camouflage, a German Kevlar vest. And this is actually Germany's first Kevlar body armor. And it's based off of the Pazgat design, except for uh, this is a uh, slightly different variation. Whereas the, if you watch my Pazgat video, the Pazgat is split right down the middle here, and it opens up like a jacket. Uh, but this actually has three entry points. Um, but its its design is based off of the Pazgad vest in shape. Um, but rather than have that split down the front, which compromises the Kevlar panel, they have uh, two full-size Kevlar panels. Uh, and then the uh, shoulder uh, pads here and the neck. Uh, so each side of the neck has a, as you can see, the zipper to put the uh, panel in there. Uh, same thing with the underneath uh, the shoulder pads. You can see the zipper to put the uh, panels in. But it has two uh, big panels, one front, one back, two collar, and two shoulder panels. So there's six panels total. And uh, this vest, unlike the Pazgat, has three entry points instead of just one, which is in the front. Uh, you could lift up this shoulder pad here, which is held on place by a big panel of Velcro. Um, it also has these two side plates here that we associate today with more modern body armor. And I think that this is where we got the design for the, the modern poncho style of vest because this actually would prove to be a lot better uh, than the American Pazgat because that split uh, created a break in the Kevlar for uh, bits of shrapnel going just the right angle and speed and everything to go through. Uh, so this was a much better design than that. Um, Although it did use uh, Kevlar just like the Pazgat. I'm guessing this came out kind of in the 80s, uh, just like the, uh, the Pazgat did. Uh, for West Germany, I don't think East Germany fielded body armor. That was this uh, nice, and you could tell by uh, the flectarn pattern. Now, uh, this vest is very, very flexible. It's actually pretty lightweight for a body armor vest. You could find these uh, around... Um, pretty cheap depending on what condition you want to get them in uh, this one's brand new unissued uh, as you could tell by uh, how nice the cover is and it's made out of the same exact fabric their uniform is so it's not like a nylon thousand denier it's that kind of focus it in here it's that kind of see that weave that cotton uh, nylon polyester fabric that they use just on their their normal uh, body armor that has these kind of a uh, rubberized cloth tabs on it as well as uh, the traditional German pebbled snaps and uh, some uh, webbing up here to hold the shoulder pads on. Um, these do have uh, reinforced shoulders uh, for equipment so they don't uh, wear through as easily. Um, the collar can be worn up or down depending on your environment and it does have uh, closure up here that's just in the stored position right now. Um, this is a very, very comfortable vest. It's actually pretty adjustable, and um, I'm really glad I found one for the price I did. I think I got it for like $50. Uh, you can find them around, uh, especially if you're uh, into airsofting. This would be a good thing because it's light enough to where you'll still feel the BB hit you um, or the paintball or whatever you're into, but it'll um, be thick enough to where it won't hurt, especially if you're like me and you play in the winter a lot because it's always fucking winter here. Um... But uh, this is a this is a good good overall vest. It, um, I do recommend you get something to go over it. This is this wasn't really meant to be scalable, uh, because this is when uh, body armor was pretty much in its infancy again. Um, so uh, you you would wear your big like H straps over this with all your pouches and everything on it. So you could work this with an FLC though if you wanted to have moly over it. Uh, for all your pouches and stuff. It's very, very reasonable that way because it's very low profile and there isn't a whole lot to snag on anything. Um, so uh, this video is going to be a quick, quick, short one. Um, I could have brought the Schubert out here now that I realized it to show you how they would have been used like in conjunction with each other, um, but I didn't do that. So uh, maybe, maybe in another video I'll do that. I'll do a vest combination with the helmet with this, do like the full ensemble, because I actually have some camouflage uniforms and boots that go with this too. So I can do the full, the full ensemble actually, if you uh, really, really want it, if you're interested in that. Um, till then, this is a pretty short video. I'll turn the, uh, let you get a good look at the vest here again. Um, Take a look here at the inside. There's the uh, inside, the label on it. Um, it does have a cummerbund on it, uh, like a nylon cummerbund. 
uh, like most vests do to help distribute the weight. Uh, we'll flip it over and take a look at the back. As you can see, the back's all kind of one panel. It does have these little hooks attachments for like, a, I guess like a web belt or something. I don't have the web belt for it, but if I ever do see one, I'll, I'll pick one up. Um, overall, this is, a, I, this is a really, really nice vest actually. Uh, for Kevlar, I like how flexible it is. See how it's like really collapsible and crunchable. It pack really easy. Um, something cool to like keep in the car if you're worried about that sort of thing. If you're one of those people, I'm, I'm, I believe in having uh, firearms and owning firearms and stuff like that, but a lot of people don't. And uh, if you still want to be safe, but you don't want to own a firearm, having a vest is a pretty good option uh, there as well. So uh, this vest will work well for that because it'll stop uh, most lower caliber pistol cartridges and shrapnel. So, and uh, as we know, a lot of attacks are done with lower caliber pistols and stuff like that. So uh, this will also offer stab protection if that's something you're looking for. So you can find these pretty cheap and it uh, collapses really nice. It's pretty flexible and... Uh, they're around so um the market is kind of drying up so if you are looking for one i recommend you jump on it pretty fast um but other than that that's really all that i have on this vest um this is a relatively short vest because there isn't a lot of, of information on this vest that you can't find in my pazgat video um pazgat video will got go much more in depth about uh, this vest because it's pretty much a copy of the pazgat with some slight changes some slight german improvisations on it because they they have to make everything that we make slightly better uh props to them on that but um yeah so uh, hopefully you guys like this video and you subscribed if you're new uh if you uh have any comments or questions uh Leave those, uh, leave me a comment and I'll do my best to uh, answer them for you. Also, if you have any suggestions, drop those in the comments as well and I'll, I will uh, try to get back to you as soon as I can. So if you have any more information on this vest or if you were in the German Defense Force or German military and you have any experience with these vests uh, uh, in comparison to anything else you might have tried on, let me know how what you thought about this. Uh, uh, also, if you guys have any additional information, like what year these actually started to be fielded and stuff like that, I'd really, I'd really like to know because I've been doing some reading and I just couldn't find a, a, an exact set date. Um, so, uh, if you could do that, that'd be really appreciative too. So, uh, thank you so much for watching, everybody. We just got over seventy subscribers, and uh, I'm really, really thankful for that. And hopefully, I will see all of you guys in the next video. Bye.